Welcome to A State of Sight. I'm Isaac Porter and this is your update in ophthalmology and eye care. And today we have a special episode after we had a question on our Facebook page wondering about the C10 procedure. Now this is C-T-E-N. It stands for Custom Transepithelial No-Touch Procedure. And basically I would say it's a variation of transepithelial PRK where instead of removing the cells manually from the surface of the eye, that's the epithelial layer, uh, that epithelium is removed with a laser. Now this can be an advantage and help improve vision in people that have an irregular cornea, say from a corneal scar or a previous injury, because when the laser removes these outer layers, it comes down in an even manner and then helps bring a more even surface to the back layers which are then treated with PRK. Now this is an extreme example but if you think about a cornea being very uneven with a dip in the middle say from an injury as time goes by the epithelium grows over and it heals in the divot and smooths over the top. So if we were to do a regular PRK when we use the brush and remove the cells from the surface, it's possible that these cells in the middle would be removed and it would still have this uneven area that would be difficult to treat. With the no-touch technique or the trans-epithelial technique, the laser starts removing very evenly from the front surface backwards and then when it gets to this area, it's removing part of the corneal stroma or the cornea itself as well as the epithelium that's filled into the middle. Then this can continue to go down and then once it gets to a lower level, the uneven areas have mostly been removed. There's a more smooth area below to then start the treatment to change the prescription and help improve the vision. Now this is a very extreme example. In reality, these differences can be just a small groove or a small uneven area, but by using this type of technique, it can help even it and smooth it better and end up with a more clear result in some of these tough corneas. Now the other aspect of the procedure is that it uses topography guided PRK or topography guided laser vision correction procedure which helps map the cornea first and then use the information from the mapping that shows actually the shape to plan the laser treatment. This is recently available here in the United States but has been available throughout the world for uh, much longer and it can be very effective for treating irregular corneas. I know this is a little bit complicated uh, topic but if you have any questions please post we'll be happy to answer them and we hope to see you again soon next time on State of Sight.